Curious what a big cup of chai or milk tea does to a diabetic's blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Sampur and I have been living with type 2 diabetes for the past 9 years. With a disciplined diet and regular exercise, I have managed to stay off medication while still enjoying the simple joys of life like any other non-diabetic normal person, chai included. Yes, type 2 diabetes can be controlled and in many cases even reversed. The key is understanding how different foods affect our blood sugar and making choices accordingly. On this channel, I run real experiments on myself to test the impact of everyday foods so you can make smarter, healthier and more informed decisions without doing all the trial and error yourself. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly food tests. Alright, let's dive in. Today I'm testing one big cup of chai with milk and sugar measuring about 16 fluid ounces or 450 milliliters first thing in the morning. Empty stomach because this will give me the true result without the influence of any other food or physical activity. Chai's nutrition depends on a lot of ingredients, type of milk, amount of sugar, even the variety of tea. For example, chai with whole milk is very different from chai with skim milk and one teaspoon of sugar is not the same as two. For today's experiment, I have prepared chai with whole milk and have added two teaspoons of refined sugar. And here is what this cup of chai of milk tea contain. Roughly 200 to 250 calories, the majority of which comes from carb and fat, about 91%. To break it down, this much tea packs about 55 grams of carbohydrates, including 48 grams of sugar, 8 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, and zero fiber. In addition, it also contains smaller quantities of calcium, iron, potassium, and vitamin D, and of course, caffeine. And here's the key number. The glycemic index of chai isn't officially defined. If you average the GI values of milk, sugar, and black tea, you get an estimated GI of around 53. And using this formula, we can also calculate the glycemic load of this cup of chai, 29.15, which is considered high. Needless to say, I'm a little nervous about what the monitor will show. I'll be tracking my glucose levels with my continuous glucose monitor, which will provide me with minute by minute readings. Right before having chai, my blood sugar is at 118 milligram per deciliter. Nothing abnormal for an early morning. Milk tea is woven into daily life of India. For most of us, the day doesn't begin without it. Happy moments, sad moments, rainy days, family gatherings, catching up with friends, hot afternoons or cold mornings. Chai fits every occasion. Having chai rarely needs an excuse. Alright, it's been a few hours since I had milk tea. And now, the moment of truth. Is it a go or a no-go? First, let me show you the framework I use to judge spikes. According to this chart, I treat spikes of under 40 points as safe, between 40 to 60 points as alarming, and anything above 60 as dangerous. So let's see where we land today. But before we look at the numbers, please make sure to watch this video till the end. Because after showing you the results, I will also explain the science behind it. That way, the next time you want to start your day with chai, you'll know exactly what to expect and how to act accordingly. I put the link to all of this research below in the description. You can check it if it interests you. And here it is. At the time of having chai, my blood glucose level was at 118 milligrams. I knew that it would elevate my blood glucose levels, but wasn't expecting it to peak so high and so quick. It took just 40 minutes for my sugar levels to climb 72 points and reach 190 mg. This is the biggest and fastest jump I have ever seen with any other food item so far. So needless to say, this spike is dangerous and I hate to say it, but chai with milk and sugar is a no-go for me. Looking at the pattern, in first half hour, my blood glucose level rose 22 points to 140 mg and then shot to peak in next 10 minutes or so. And then it took about one hour to come back to the regular range. So next time you go for that cup of chai first thing in the morning, think twice. Our regular blood sugar levels are already elevated early in the morning. And on top of that, chai can really spike it up big time. Here is another interesting angle I want you to think about. If you are one of those who check your blood sugar levels two hours after having meal, something that we all do, you would not even notice there was such a huge spike because in that much time, it would have come back to normal. 
So chai gives you a sugar spike that can go completely undetected. I often get comments saying your tests showed a huge spike, but I eat this food all the time and my sugar levels are always normal. Here's what I tell them. Think again. You might not know what's actually happening in between those two hours. If you only check your sugar before eating and then two hours later, you will probably see normal numbers. But what you're missing is the spike that happens in the middle when your sugar shoots up and then drops back down. By the time you test, it's already back to normal, but that sharp rise in between may have already done the damage. Digging into this huge sugar spike, here are the influencing factors I could find through my research. Number one, sucrose in refined sugar. Adding two teaspoon of sugar means you are giving your body pure sucrose, which gets broken down quickly into glucose and fructose and gets absorbed fast. That initial rapid rise pushes blood sugar up before insulin catches up. Second, liquid form and lack of fiber. When you drink sugar in liquid form, it bypasses much of the chewing and mixing processes that slow absorption. There is no fiber or solid matrix to delay uptake. So glucose floods in faster. And final factor, caffeine's hormonal effects. Tea contains caffeine, which in some people can trigger release of stress hormones like cortisol or adrenaline. Those can raise blood sugar by signaling the liver to release stored glucose. This can amplify the sugar's effect. So this was my experience with Indian chai with sugar. Please comment and let me know how does milk tea impact your blood sugar levels. Remember, we are all in this fight together and one way we can help each other is by sharing our experiences. If you found this test helpful, please give this video a like, share it with someone who could benefit and don't forget to subscribe for more real life diabetic food tests every week. Until next time, stay healthy, stay mindful and take care of your sugar levels.